in our last video we discussed about http request and http response now in this video we will discuss about the post method in coordinator 4 for this inside my student controller I'm going to create a function and I'll name it as show form and I'll return a view from here which will be show underscore form So now we have to create this view so go inside the views and create a new file the name would be show underscore form dot php here i'll create a basic html page So I have created a form with two input fields. One is email, and the second one is the name, and and there is a button with the labeled save. So now if I save this and open this function, so we have this form. And if I hit save, then it will reload the page and do nothing. So I'll pass few values like action method. So the action is the URL where this form submit the data. If we want to submit to current page, then we can pass the hash here. Otherwise, we will pass our page name. So I'll create a new function here, which will accept data from our form. So I'll name it as accept data. So we can call this function from our form to call this function we have to use our php code inside our html so here base url then our controller name sorry student then our function name which is a separate and by default the method is get so we will change it to the post method and now save this page and reload this page now try to click on the save button and it will show some error because in our previous video we have set our base url to the google.com so i am going to comment this line to use my current url as base url now go back to our form reload this page and click on the save button so now it's showing the accept data function which means it forward the data 
to the accept data function so now let's go inside the accept data and try to read data from http request so if we print the current http method name for example this request get method and save the page go to your form and reload the page and click on the save button so now the http method is post because we are submitting the form as a post method in our previous video we deal with the get method in this video we are dealing with the post method to read the form data like email and name we can use this request get where or we can use the get post function and in the get where we have to pass the name of our field so name of my email field is email so i'm passing email here and name of our uh, name field is name so i'm passing it here and if i save these values in a variable like email and name and if i print the email go back and if i type something like this and save and i have received my email in accept data function so if i print the name go back to our form and if i pass my name and hit the save button then i'll get the name from the post method on my accept data function so this is how we can pass post data to our function and we can pass them using get where get post or get get post or get post get thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends as well so i can create more valuable content for you follow us on other social media accounts as well links are in description of this video